claims that the Trump campaign weakened the GOP platform to pacify Russia as part of its coordination to help Donald Trump win the 2016 election have completely fallen apart. Not only did it not happen, an already tough portion of the Republican platform dealing with Russia was strengthened, not weakened, at the GOP convention, writes Byron York for the Washington Examiner. The original draft, which has yet to be released publicly, contained strong language on Russia, and every word of it was kept in the final draft of the platform, an insider shared with York. Diana Denman, a former Ted Cruz delegate and Texas political activist who later switched her support to Trump, proposed an amendment during the platform committee meeting at the GOP convention in Cleveland. Denman's amendment praised the Ukrainian people and said they deserved the greatest U.S assistance. York writes. According to York, the proposed amendment read with therefore support maintaining and, if warranted, increasing sanctions against Russia until Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity are why restored. We also support providing lethal defensive weapons to Ukraine's armed forces and greater coordination with NATO on defense planning. Simultaneously, we call for increased financial aid for Ukraine, as well as greater assistance in the economic and humanitarian spheres, including government reform and anti-corruption. The introduction to the amendment contained generic rhetoric that was later removed at the behest of the Trump campaign. The campaign tweaked the providing lethal defensive weapons suggestion to providing appropriate assistance to the armed forces, changing the rhetoric but not the concept. The final amendment added a provision of U.S. Aid to Ukraine's armed forces where none had existed in the original draft, making it tougher than it had already been. Many Democrats and, never Trump, Republicans seized on the campaign's change from lethal defensive weapons to appropriate assistance, both phrases not included in the original draft, but added later, using it to claim the campaign was going soft on Russia. Trump campaign guts GOP's anti-Russia stance on Ukraine, read the July 18th headline in the Washington Post, helping to thrust the false narrative forward. Democrats have continued to make the claim despite a weaker stance on Russia in their 2016 Democratic platform, yet Democrats, along with Got Never Trumpers, press on, and it appears the platform narrative, wrong as it is, will not die. York concludes.